Welcome back to Dad's Toy Garage and we're working on Project Judithan, my 1973 Toyota Celica and uh, today we got a lot of things going on actually. I'm going to be doing some more refining of the lines and the bodywork, some priming, then I'm going to be doing, I'll be unboxing some cool parts, some suspension parts that I'm excited about. Um, so follow along, let's have some fun with this build and there'll be some cool progress happening and soon this thing will be back on the wheels. So it looked great in the body pillar but now I'm doing another 320 block coat, uh, I guess guide coat and block and you see the edge needs a little bit of perfecting in areas here and then it gets better over here. So we're going to continue to work at that, I'll block down off this edge and then back on this edge and then check it one more time. So I sanded the top, this brought it a lot closer. As you can see I've had to bring this down quite a bit so we'll have to reprime a little bit in here. Um, and now I'm going to coat it again and sand the other side of it. Getting closer, got some spots that came through, there's a little bit low on the edge here, so we'll have to spray that again, but I'm going to get this edge done and then I'm going to re-block the sides, the top and bottom separate, but I want to get the line first so that if it does get lower I can block this back out. So we're going to guide coat it one more time down the line, block the top side of it and I think we'll be pretty close. Now that I've got my line where I want it, I've got to block out a little bit up here. I'm going to put a guide coat across the whole thing. I'll do the top and bottom separate and I'll stay away from that line for the most part. So we'll go on to that now. So that's that. I'll do the same process as you just saw in the time lapse on the top. And we got a couple spots we're going to spot prime in there. And uh, I'll get the rest of the shell done and I'll catch up with you guys after that. And a little bit on this side too. But you can see in the reflect or in the shadow there how straight this line is going to be when I'm done. A little bit on the rocker panel here I got to blow in. And one spot here. Uh, so a little bit below, so I had to take care of that. And a little bit more on that roof panel. That was a really rough roof panel. So I'm pretty excited about, about this package that came in the mail today. Um, they look super cool and they're going to be awesome in the car being able to adjust my height of the front end and they're a little bit more aggressive. I think we put a 300 pound spring in there so that'll be a little bit stiffer than stock but not like racetrack stiff. I don't need that. We got a race car in the works but I'll be able to get the stance where I need it. So that's exciting. Um, 
the guy's Angus on the forums. I'm going to leave his name out. I don't know if he wants his name out there, but you'll find him on the forums as Angus. So I wanted to say thank you for making these for me. And uh, we'll keep rolling on this build and getting closer and closer to putting these on the car. Got a package in the mail today from Summit, and I think I know what's in there. Let's check it out. Different bushings. I got every bushing on the car done in urethane. Um, they're all white line except for this one, which was uh, front control arms. That had to get a different brand, uh, but I got white line on everything else. So let's see what's in there. I'm actually surprised at how little for bushings you actually need on the car. Uh, I did not get the sway bar. I was just trying to save a little bit of cash right now so I could get a couple other things done on the budget that I'd set aside at this point. But the control arm bushings, then we have the W61182, and these are all my rear trailing arm or control arm bushings. W81192, panhard rod bushings, shock absorber bushings, radius rod bushings, the W81193. So the radius rod also could be called tension rod bushings. But yeah, that's the package. So I have pretty close to everything I need to get the suspension back together. Uh, I gotta go get some brake caliper stuff powder coated, but I have the rebuild kits in another box. So I wanna start doing some seam sealing on my door parts uh, where the metal folds over itself. And I'm gonna use this. This is what the, the Sika Flex product, it's what was recommended by the Body Shop Supply Store. So we wanna do parts like this, get all these seams redone because this is fresh brand new get them all cleaned up and I'm gonna play around with that and show you guys what I figure out how to do that so it seems to work pretty good um, I'm using the 221 Seco Flex a gray color so it matches the primer nicely uh, which should help for a lighter color base coat uh, I'm using just the 3M masking tape, the green, the yellow stuff because it's cheaper. And then I've just masked off the edges of where I want the seam done. I put the sealer in and then I just take a squeegee like this. And I literally, I just run it along there like I'm putting body filler on. There we go. We got our seam sealed edge. And the last thing I did to finish out this bead, get nice and smooth like this is uh, put a little bit of painting pre-prep. I used pre cleano on my finger and just rubbed it down while it was wet. You can use soap and water as well, but I didn't want soap and water on there. Does that work? If we get soap and water not washed off properly, we get adhesion problems, but this also makes it look professional and smooth. So I've now finished a seam sealer on both doors. I took it a little higher than factory did, brought it up into here. I've got more refining done. I've blocked the car all in uh, 320 grit on a long block. So we're going to prime it again and do the same thing all over again. A couple areas here where I needed to work that line. The roof that's given me a lot of grief. It's been frustrating, but it's hopefully it comes along shortly. Got the door here as well so i'm going to tackle that now okay it's time to get the third coat of primer onto this car Guys, I just wanted to show you how straight Judith is coming out here. Um, I'm feeling really good about it. Like if you look at the roof here, follow that reflection. I'm going to do another block sand of 320 on it yet. We'll just see if we can get it to roll up a little bit here. We got it on the quarter panel here. Check that out. Do 
She's looking good. Well, I'm glad that you guys stopped by for another episode of Dad's Toy Garage. If you enjoy the, the stuff that I'm doing here and you want to see more, just make sure you click that bell uh, just to notify you when I have new episodes coming out. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing. And uh, next time I got some more bodywork stuff doing uh, happening on this car. I know I want to get that spoiler done. The one that I ordered from Toy Sports, the chin spoiler for the front of the car. Um, and like I said, soon this thing will be back on the wheels. So I think maybe next episode or the one after we'll be getting all those suspension goodies on the car. I'm excited to have those coilovers. Thank you to Angus on the forums there for hooking me up with those and the white line bushings. I'm curious to see how this thing's going to ride. It should be kind of tight with handling. So that's exciting. And the body works coming along nicely. I'm feeling pretty good about it for the most part. We're getting close. Um, so thanks again for stopping by guys, girls, and stay safe. Have fun on your own projects.